Hello, good morning, and welcome to another Monday morning art talk. So today I just wanted to read from you to you a uh, some of my writings, my my personal writings. This, so this is something that I do all the time. I just have notebooks upon notebooks that are next to my bed. Um, and when I just go to bed at night, before I go to bed at night, sit and watching TV with my wife, it depends if it's a good show, I'll watch the show, but if it's not something I'm not interested in, I just kind of sit there and I, and I write and I, all throughout the day, really at different moments, I would just write little things. Um, so I wanted to read to you just something here that, that I'd written. I, I didn't even date it. This must've been quite a while ago because I actually just found this booklet shoved under all these other books. And it was about, um, I don't know, maybe maybe a year ago or something like that. But let me get on my old man uh, glasses here, being 44 years old now. Um, all right, so what have I got here? Um, yeah, and again, these are almost just like these random unconscious thoughts. So I just write them and I almost just write them just for myself. As things become clear that I feel are clear in my mind, I go, hey, that's that's cool. I'm just going to write that down. And that's where these come from. So here it says, uh, every moment will only happen once. Enjoy it. You will never fully experience it the same again. Maybe memory, maybe feeling, but not both. So I, I look back at my writings and go, okay, what was I meaning by that? But, you know, I know what I meant by that in reality that we will, this is why it's so important just to microphone. I try to put up my microphone a little closer today. Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> my microphone troubles. This is a running gag now. Um, so just, just knowing that at this moment, you're going to experience um, right now as I'm even talking here. So what I'm experiencing is just talking to the camera right now. I'm, I'm feeling myself technically right in this moment. Now, can, can I recall later on tomorrow, Tuesday, you know, uh, next week sometime, am I going to have this exact same feeling? No. Am I going to have the exact same memory? No. I can only really get both of those happening at the same time right now. Um, and that's why it's just so important to really, whatever situation you're in, just trying to, this is my my philosophy anyway, this is where I, I um, what I think. Um, let Live your life as well as you can at the moment while you're living. What will come will come. What won't, don't worry about it. It wasn't meant to be anyway. You know, pretty straightforward. You are where you are. This kind of comes down to that sort of accepting within your art career. Um, got an itchy nose today. Um, don't, number one here, I put, uh, don't think about the future. Just set goals. That gives you things to do to strive for. I've talked about this many times. Don't worry about that outcome. We just want to set those goals um, and gives us something to look forward to. Number two, act on those goals just in increments each day. Don't overwhelm, you, overwhelm yourself. So, even though you got those goals, don't try to think that you can do it all at once and try to do it just right now and finish it by the end of the day. That's kind of crazy. You're going to overwhelm yourself. You're going to go a little bit crazy in, in your head and you're going to get stressed out. So knowing that that's my goal and it's helpful to give yourself a plan. Do you want to accomplish it in two weeks? Do you want to accomplish it within the year? And then if you do want to do it within the year, we'll set different stages within there. Well, each month I hope to accomplish this. So there has to be little tiny goals that'll eventually get you there. Um, day by day, the tasks will get completed only uh, to do it all over again. So what I was referring to by that is, um, you know, we're going to keep going in the cycle. Every time you think you've finished something, oh God, I, I've finished, that's off my list. I don't have to worry about that. Well, you know what? Something else is coming and it's going to replace it. And that's what I mean by even though you have these goals and these tasks, it's going to, it's going to be a reoccurrence in a different way. And again, being part of open to that. Um, it need to break the monotony. Okay. Um, have in order to break the monotony, have multiple projects but set a time, set aside times so that you focus on these 
Uh, don't multitask one thing at a time. Um, and that's what I've always felt. I feel if you if you feel like you're just in that place of boredom and you're just unenthusiastic and you're not excited about where you're at, I feel it's vital just to make sure that you do have multiple different projects and create different things for yourself. Even if it's a fantasy, pretend you have a, a, a network uh, show, pretend you have your own um, children's book publishing agent who's, who's just hired you and wants you to create this book for them and and make up these fake scenarios but and you're going to put more love into those anyway you know because all of a sudden once you get the client and that burden where oh my god the stress is not that that is a burden but you put that extra little stress oh my god i got to make sure i'm doing a good job for them and i've got to make sure i get it done on time for them and there's all these added pressures to where when you're working on your own project for yourself as long as you have those goals set, you're not going to overwhelm yourself uh, like that, okay? Um, and the last thing here was make time for loved ones, stay positive, enjoy each moment. It will only happen once. And that, I think I would recall when I wrote that, I was just thinking about my kids, just these moments that when, when my kids say to me, Dad, can you sleep with in my bed tonight? You know, can you sleep with me? Um... It's like, no, no, too busy, blah, 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 blah. I open, I think about it, then I go, nope, I'm, I'm going to do it because it's only going to happen once at that moment and it may last for a while, but what's going to happen is they're going to grow up older, they're ready, oh, they're 14 and, and 12 and they're getting to that point where, you know, they're not going to be seen in public holding my hand or anything like that. So any moment that I get when they even say to me now, it's like, hey, dad, can you just lay with me for a few minutes? Uh, I'm, I'm all over it because these are these things that are only going to happen once um, at different moments in your lifetime. And that's why it's so vital. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you. And um, that's it. Have a good one. And I shall talk to you guys next week. Take care. This is Steven and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life. See if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey. All right. So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> go. go back. Go back. Go back. Great. Go back. Go back. Ha, ha, ha.